ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to more WWE 2K19 Universe Mod. I'm Brenda Plays, and this is WWE SmackDown, and we are coming off the Backlash preview. If you missed it, make sure you go ahead and check it out. It's available right now on the channel at youtube.com slash Brennan Plays. It featured the big title win from AJ Styles, the new WWE Champion. This week on SmackDown, Sheamus goes up against Xavier Woods. Apollo Crews will take on Zack Ryder in singles action as well. Ember Moon and Lana will square off in women's action. When we see perhaps Ember Moon gain a big win, or will we see Lana finally score a singles victory she needs so badly? Well, I guess we'll find out later on tonight. Well, the Ulster of Pain picked up a massive win at Backlash. Can they keep their momentum building when they take on the B Team in tag team action? Bailey unfortunately took the loss in a triple threat match featuring Asuka and Charlotte tonight. It'll just be Bailey and Asuka one on one. Who will take the win? And he is back in action. Sami Zayn has returned. We'll see him tonight against Dean Ambrose. Xavier Woods picks up the win over Sheamus one on one. Zack Ryder gets a win over Apollo Crews. Big win there for the Broski. Emma Moon scores a win over Lana, continuing her hot streak. As of late, the AOP get another victory. They defeat the B team as we go ahead and prepare for Bailey versus Asuka. Let's get tonight underway here as we move on from Backlash and we look ahead to the future of the SmackDown Women's Division with Bailey and Asuka one on one here tonight. What a matchup it was at Backlash when Bailey took on Asuka and Charlotte in a triple threat match. It really could have gone either way, but in the end, Charlotte did get the pin and knock off Bailey. Well, what we did see is Charlotte actually hit the natural selection on both Asuka and Bailey at the exact same time. Of course, Charlotte did choose to pin Bailey in that instance. Well, both women came so close, agonizingly close to winning, but in the end, Charlotte was just that little bit too good. She took advantage of her opportunity that she created for herself. Now tonight, Asuka and Bailey will face off against one another as we determine who goes ahead in the rankings here in the women's division. Who perhaps is next in line for a singles opportunity at Charlotte? And who has to get back in the waiting line? Well, both women, very, very similar records here in Universe Mode. Asuka, 25 wins, 16 losses. Bailey, 25 wins, 17 losses. Not much splits them, it's just one extra loss to Bailey's name. That's how close both of these women are. That's how gifted and talented both of these women are. They've had so much success throughout their time here at Universe Mode, whether it be in NXT or here on SmackDown. Both former NXT Women's Champions at the same time, of course, and now they look to become Women's Champions here on SmackDown. Asuka's already accomplished it, becoming the first ever SmackDown Women's Champion. Unfortunately, though, losing it to Charlotte, you know she is raring to get it back around her waist. Underway here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Bailey versus Asuka. One on one. Still to come later on, Sami Zayn returns to action. He made a shocking return when he, well, interrupted the main event between Roman Reigns and AJ Styles, distracting Reigns and allowing AJ to pick up the win and end the, the championship reign of Roman. And speaking of Roman Reigns, well, he's out right now. He will not be here tonight. He is far from 100% after the attack from Sami Zayn, the steel chair shots. And of course, the big elbow dropped through the table as well by Zayn. Yep, it wasn't pretty for Roman Reigns that night. He had a really rough time of it. Well, he won't be here tonight, but we'll hear from AJ Styles tonight about his big championship victory. And of course, we'll see Sami Zayn in action up against a Shield member, Dean Ambrose, one on one in our main event. As Bailey and Asuka going back and forth between one another. And as I said, very hard to split these two, both very, very good. And this is going to be a tight contest, I feel. If it does win, though, you'd have to say will advance up the rankings list and potentially become the new number one contender, or at least put their hand up there to be that next person. Obviously, we saw Ember Moon with the pick, big victory earlier on. Nice elbow there from Bailey. As Bailey firing herself up here, good start here to this one for her. We saw Ember Moon with the victory earlier on, and I'm sure there's a few other women here in the division, such as Carmella as well, Nia Jax, Natalia, all would like to get themselves in the mix. There's a potential there that they could do so in the future as Bailey's hung up on the ropes. Cover now as Bailey in a bit of trouble as she hooks the leg just to count a one. Well, Charlotte has been mighty impressive since coming to SmackDown. I think she underestimated Asker a little bit. 
But when she got it done at SummerSlam, when she defeated Asuka there, you kind of felt as though that she really lifted into a new gear, that gear that we saw her use to become the longest reigning women's champion in Universe Mode history. Well, she started off quite well here as SmackDown Women's Champion. With a victory over Asuka and Bailey at Backlash, you can't really ask for more than that. It's going to be very difficult to beat her when she's in this type of mood, when she's got this type of focus. Bailey has really impressed though. She's had a big rise over the last month or so. After flying on the radar for a while, we were kind of waiting for her to really break out a little bit here on SmackDown. And it took a bit of time for her, but she's been racking up the wins and she's certainly there now. And of course, Asuka was the women's champion, so we know how, how good she is. And right now, it's a close battle between both women. As we said, Charlotte does await. As Asuka in the corner and... Uh oh, Asuka flipped away. Well, our next pay-per-view here on Universe Mode will be Fastlane, and that'll feature two women's matches, including the triple threat match for the Raw Women's Championship. And that match has been set in stone since SummerSlam. That's, of course, Alexa Bliss, Sasha Banks, and Becky Lynch. And, of course, Ronda Rousey will have her first singles match on pay-per-view, and that'll be against none other than Ruby Riot. We'll see Ronda Rousey in action next week on Raw when she goes one-on-one -on -one with Liv Morgan. That should be a good contest there. That'll be Rousey's first ever Raw matchup and her first singles match. Of course, that match all came about because Ronda Rousey was very, very disappointed about the way she performed at SummerSlam. She was not at her best, we feel as though, at all. You know, she almost lost the match, you feel, for her team. She struggled. So can she bounce back? We'll find out on Raw's... Bailey launches herself off the top of the rope. Big time splash landing down there on Asuka. Now the cook the leg, the cover. Will this be enough to put her away? A kick out of two. Well, the SmackDown Women's Championship triple threat match was highly entertaining. I'm expecting the same there from the Raw Women as a door tornado DDT. And the competition heating up in both women's divisions right now here in Universe Mode. Great to see. Now women really starting to step up and becoming major players and not only that of course down at NXT as well you can't forget about those girls really impressing with of course Kari Sane the number one contender right now for the NXT Women's Championship NXT TakeOver will be of course before Fastlane and that'll be just under two weeks away from seeing TakeOver that'll be exciting to see what about that a powerbomb into the apron then swung her around and again connected the body into the apron as well into the LED board right there and that's going to hurt, ask for sure. She's rocked a little bit right now. As a count of seven, Bailey will get back inside that ring. Bailey calling upon the fans now to get her a bit of motivation, get her some support as she looks to try and put Asuka away. Perhaps the biggest match in Bailey's career in quite some time because a singles win here might give her an opportunity one on one for the championship down the line, which would be massive for her career. Scoop slam there by Bailey. Now looking for the elbow, finds it. Bailey impressing right now. Asuka has struggled for the last few minutes here. It's been all Bailey. Not good at all for Bailey. She's for Asuka rather. She's gonna try and find something because Bailey is really starting to heat up. The confidence is growing every single time we see Bailey. Oh, shot in the midsection. Asuka, look out! Hip attack! Finds it! Cover! Could be it! Bailey's hand was underneath the rope though. Referee saw it. Normally the referee's eyes are painted on this time. He's got there and he brought his contacts tonight. He is ready to go. And now the Asuka lock. Nowhere for Bailey to go. But again, he's called for the break, the referee. Good officiating, I'd have to say. Bailey was definitely close to those robes. Oh! Asuka landing Bailey down harshly on her neck area. And Bailey might be in some danger here. Asuka, here she comes. Well, she was a bit lackluster earlier on, but she's making up for lost time. This is impressive from Asuka, but Bailey, oh no, straight back to her feet and hits that neck breaker. Bailey, well, I, I gotta say, I thought she was done for there, but she is able to fight back, and all of a sudden, she's back in this match. Now, the inside cradle. Will this be it? Could be all. No, a kick out late in the count of two. Bailey nearly had the match won there, and Asuka just barely hangs on. And now a clothesline to the outside of the ring. Asuka goes down, 
And Bailey, will she look to use the outside weaponry, if you will? The still steps, the barricade, the announce table. Will she try to use the environment around her to inflict a little bit more damage on Asuka? Asuka's trying to fend off Bailey right now with some strikes and some kicks. Bailey can't really get her hands there on Asuka. Doesn't have a chance to use the outside environment. And now, oh no, Bailey in some big trouble with a suplex. A German suplex to the outside of the ring. Count of eight now. A count out's all Asuka needs, but it's not what she wants. Count of nine. Wow. Very close to a victory there for Bailey inadvertently. But Asuka's back in. Asuka in the center of the ring. Oh, I think she was definitely looking for that Asuka lock. Bailey realized it was coming. Found the elbow. Now Bailey in the corner. Asuka. Oh, she thought about really going after Bailey. But oh, I think that little hesitation may cost her. Oh, drop kick. Bailey trying to use the ropes to get back to her feet. Asuka feeling it now. Asuka's ready to strike. And oh no! Drop toe hole. Lands on the second. And now Bailey. Here we go. Lands down there on the back of Asuka. This is impressive from Bailey. Looking to become women's champion for the first time in her career in the near future. And this is the victory she needs to become number one contender potentially. Oh, a kick out. What a way to bounce back from a loss at Backlash. To beat Asuka tonight would be huge for Bailey and her confidence. And right now, Asuka's doing everything in her power to make sure that that does not happen. Asuka, one of the toughest women to beat here in Universe Ma, but Bailey has she figured her out. Nice, beautiful suplex there. Bailey lining up Asuka. And now Bailey! Bailey to belly! That's gonna be it! Bailey hooks the leg! Bailey's done it! Bailey has defeated Asuka here on SmackDown! And a massive victory that might just propel her straight to the top. She failed at Backlash, but she might get another chance in the near future. Another win for Bailey. And I've got to say, she's looking better and better. Every time we see her, she's getting more and more impressive. Bailey fighting with everything she had tonight. And tonight, she proved to be just that little bit too good for Asuka. They've had their battles in the past. Plenty of history between Asuka and Bailey, but this time in this chapter, it's Bailey picking up a crucial victory. She celebrates with the fans now as they have supported her in her journey. Now her journey may lead to a one-on-one -on -one match with Charlotte coming up in the very near future. Well, here he is, ladies and gentlemen, the WWE and United States Champion, AJ Styles. He is the man right now on SmackDown. He's got all the gold. The leader of the club has dethroned the leader of the Shield at Backlash when AJ Styles pinned Roman Reigns. Well, it is definitely a new era here on SmackDown. AJ Styles becoming now a two-time WWE Champion. He lost the title originally to Reigns back at the Royal Rumble. He had two more opportunities to win it back. He lost both of them. And Styles was banned from having another title opportunity until SummerSlam when the club defeated the Shield to allow Styles to once again compete for it. And AJ would win it at Backlash. You could say, yes, he had a bit of help from Sami Zayn who provided a bit of a distraction on Roman Reigns, but AJ Styles still had a bit of work to do beyond that. He got the job done, and Styles is now a double champion. The first time ever here in Universe Mode. It is rare, and AJ Styles is the one to do it. The WWE and US champ will address his big win right now. Months and months and months of trying to get back to the top. I have finally achieved it. 
Roman Reigns is finally no longer the WWE Champion. I gotta say, it feels fantastic to finally say those words. The Shield no longer has the power right here on SmackDown. Now the power is back in the hands of the fans. It's no longer strangle held by Roman Reigns and his cronies. Finally, some justice has been served. Roman Reigns lost the WWE Championship when I beat him at Backlash, but I gotta say, the elephant in the room, there was a bit of assistance from Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn, I had no idea he was gonna appear, I had no idea he was gonna show up, but he came out and he distracted Roman Reigns. Now, I didn't know at the time when I was down to the outside of the ring, Zayn came along and distracted Reigns. I got back in the ring and went about my business and finished the job. But after the match, I saw Sami Zayn out there, and obviously I watched the replay back later on, and I found out what happened. So I want to say this to Roman. Now, I know you're thinking right now that I couldn't beat you fair and square. I know you're thinking right now that without the help of Zayn, you would still be champion. Well, Roman Reigns, if you feel that way, anytime, any place, I will put this championship on the line, and you and I, we can go at it one-on-one. -on -one. No interferences, no distractions, you name it, we'll make it happen. Now, for Sami Zayn, I gotta be honest, Sami, I have all the respect in the world for you. Your road to recovery was a hell of a long one. You know, I had a tough year. I was not eligible to compete for the championship because of the fact that I lost too many times. You couldn't compete for the championship because Roman Reigns injured you when you should have already been champion. So for that, Sami Zayn, I will say this to you. Whenever you want to do it, whenever you're ready, I will put the championship on the line and you and I, we will fight and we will find out who is the better man fair and square because you deserve this championship just as much as I do. You deserve a chance at this title. Fair and square, and I will give that to you whenever you are ready to do so. Now, unlike Roman Reigns, I'm not going to hide behind anybody. I'm here right now in the ring. I'm going to be here every single time I'm called upon because I will fight, I will defend this championship, and I will finally bring some honor and prestige back to this title. I am proud to be the WWE Champion again, the second time in my career. The first time, it went pretty well. But let's be honest, it could have gone a lot better. This time, I'm not going to waste this opportunity. This time, I'm not going to waste this chance to truly become one of the great WWE Champions of all time. And whether that be Reigns or Sami Zayn, I'm ready for my next fight. Styles is proud to be champion, and he's ready to fight, whether that be AJ Styles and Reigns or AJ Styles and Zayn. AJ is ready to do battle with either man. Styles becoming a two-time WWE Champion. Well, it's our main event time here on SmackDown. Dean Ambrose, the former world champion, US champion, Intercontinental champion, on his way to the ring for another battle here tonight. This time, he will be the man to represent the Shield to face Sami Zayn one on one. Well, this will be interesting. Dean Ambrose has, uh, well, been a little bit interesting as of late. He recently competed over at Backlash with Seth Rollins to become the number one contender for the Tag Team Championships. And they'll have their opportunity at the bar in the near future. And before that, of course, what happened at SummerSlam, certainly interesting getting counted out on that one. He's had some ups and downs, Ambrose. But ups and downs do not describe the way Sami Zayn has been feeling. It has been a long road to recovery. Sami Zayn has been out of action since Extreme Rules back in May. And we're now in the month of September. A long time in between matches for Sami Zayn. Roman Reigns put him out on the shelf. Zayn got the ultimate revenge though when Sami took care of business and made sure Reigns lost that title at Backlash. Now Zayn is back. How will he fare? Is he ready to go? We're about to find out. Sami Zayn back in action against Dean Ambrose. That's now a leg sweep to start off. All right, well, this should be interesting. Sami Zayn back in action. 
First time since his WWE Championship opportunity against Roman Reigns at Extreme Rules with Sami Zayn on that, night, on that night beat Roman Reigns. But the fact of the matter is, Reigns beat down Sami Zayn, put him through an announce table after the match, and, well, Sami Zayn suffered an injury and it kept him out on the shelf until now. Some say Sammy's been ready to go for a little bit of time now. He's been cleared for a couple of weeks, but he's been waiting for the right time, the right moment to return. He certainly picked the right spot when he took care of business at uh, Backlash. Multiple steel chair shots on the back of Roman Reigns and ultimately hitting an elbow through the announce table off the top of the rope, leaping through the sky and landing down on Roman Reigns. Reigns not here tonight. We don't even know if he'll be available for next week. He's in a bad way. But what we do know is Reigns, I'm sure, will be looking for revenge, not only on Sami Zayn, but also on AJ Styles. He'll want that title shot ASAP, I feel. And Sami Zayn, well, I don't know if he'll rush into a championship match. I feel like if Sami Zayn is going to play things smart and maybe make the most of his chance that he has at that title, maybe waiting a little bit of time, making sure that he's ready to go is perhaps the right way to go about it. But... Knowing Sami Zayn, I think he's just going to want to well, get straight back in there. Pick up right where he left off. A win tonight over Ambrose might just give him the confidence that he needs to have an opportunity at that championship. I'm sure Sami Zayn has a big focus on that title right now, but he can't rush into things in my opinion. I think that would be a big mistake. Right now, hitting some stomps, using the ropes for a bit of momentum. Now springs off the ropes. Whoa, where did that come from? Landed down in the back there of Dean Ambrose, and now Sami Zayn looking quite good. I've got to say, well, he's got a bit of spring in the step, no doubt about that. Hasn't lost the, lost the ability to fly through the air. Well, it's great to see him back in action. You know, before he did get injured, Sami Zayn surprised us all when he did become the number one contender for Extreme Rules. And I think the majority of us thought, okay, range should beat him pretty comfortably. Sami Zayn, not quite a world champion caliber star. And i got to say, for me, it looked like Vince McMahon had the same type of thoughts. I think regardless of Sami Zayn winning or losing, I, I really believe Vince McMahon was heavily against the fact that Zayn was in that match. Now, when Sami Zayn won the championship, Vince McMahon came out the next week on SmackDown and told the world that that title win did not count because of the fact that Zayn was injured and it was erased from the record books and Roman Reigns was given the championship back and <laughs> Vince McMahon said, let's just pretend it never happened. Which is just unbelievable to think that Vince McMahon would do that to Sami Zayn as, oh, a headlock driver there by Ambrose. A man that worked so hard as Sami Zayn and actually won the match fair and square only for it to be taken away from him thanks to Roman Reigns via an injury. But still, you would have to believe that Sami Zayn deserved to have at least his name in the record books as the WWE Champion, but that's not going to be the case. On the title history over on BrennanPlays.com, you won't see Sami Zayn's name there, and that's because, well, Vince McMahon made sure of it. He made sure that Sami Zayn was removed from that and was never going to be put on there. And Sami Zayn feeling the effects right now. Dean Ambrose! Looking pretty good. And this is Sami Zayn's first match, as I said, in a number of months. And you can start to see it. A little bit of rust here. And every kick, every strike just feels that little bit much more harder. It just it really hits you that harder, that little bit more. And, and just it's a struggle here for Zayn. Ambrose another boot. Zayn just, I don't know if he's missed a beat or anything like that. But he's just a little bit of a step behind right now. He's just got to work through the pain here, Sammy. He's just got to keep on fighting. Ambrose with another kick. More strikes here by Dean. Firing himself up here. Ambrose looking pretty good. Now front face lock there on Sammy. Ambrose going to do a little bit more damage here. He's got him against the ropes. Never good here, especially against Dean. Right hand by Zane. Dean springs off the ropes, connecting with the clothesline. Now Ambrose drags him towards the middle of the ring. Now the cover hooks that leg. Might be all here for Sami Zayn. Kick out. Dean Ambrose in a strong position right now to really capitalize. Ambrose could be the man to beat Sami Zayn and end things before it really gets going again. 
right now here on SmackDown. That would be a bit of a travesty. I've got to say for Sammy to come back only to lose would be a real shame. Sami Zayn has had some big ups and downs throughout his career. In fact, only 40% of his matches he has won. It's a less than impressive record. But Sami Zayn has not let that deter him. And you have to say the last, well, the last three months before he got injured, Sami was really starting to rise. Really starting to showcase his best, his best ability. But now he's going to try and work back into that. And that might take him some time. The confidence might be a little bit low. Is he ring ready? Is he is he clear? Is he ready to go? We're about to find out because Ambrose is testing him and might be looking for the dirty deeds. Dean Ambrose to put him away here. No! Zayn with a counter! Zayn, I thought for a moment was done. But Dean Ambrose is unable to find it. Sami Zayn with a massive counter. Now we'll drive Dean into the corner. Sami Zayn! This is where he wants him to be. Zayn, right hands, striking the skull of Ambrose consistently here. Seven, eight, nine, looking for number 10. Right on the forehead of Ambrose, crushing his skull with those rights. Ambrose is down and Sami Zayn in complete control now. Ambrose in the corner. Sami Zayn will turn him around. This is where you don't want to be. Sami Zayn, look out. Big chop right to the chest of Dean. And Sami, no surprise, just a little bit slower here. Who can blame him? It's been a long road to recovery, a long road to get back here. But he's here now. Ambrose back in the corner. Sami, will we see it? Hello, the kick! Sami, can he capitalize? Hooks the leg, Ambrose in the center, and he's done it. A successful return to entering action for Sami Zayn. Oh, that had to feel good for Zayn. Many, many months out of action, but Zayn, not only has he got the title away from Reigns, but Sami Zayn returns to SmackDown with a win against Dean Ambrose, a member of The Shield, well, it's just been Sami Zayn's week, to say the least. He is back with a W next to his name. Sami Zayn just keeps on fighting no matter what challenge is thrown at him. Zayn just does not give up. It's great to see him back. You can see holding his back. He's had some issues with it, but he is back. And it's going to be a long road, I think, to recovery. But the first step has now officially started. Zayn is a winner. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have time for for this edition of Universe Mode. If you enjoyed it, leave a like on it and subscribe to see more. Fastlane coming away very soon, as well as that NXT TakeOver is just a little bit away as well. It's going to be a big couple of weeks here of Universe Mode action. Make sure you do leave a like and subscribe to show your support. And of course, check out the website, brenderplays.com for all of your Universe Mode coverage, including that in the link's description down below is a link to our Discord. If you want to get more involved in the community of Brendan Plays, make sure you join the Discord, free to join, and come say hello to myself and many other Brendan Plays fans. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you all enjoyed it. See you all in the next one.